So I have a couple of, of questions prepared, actually. Okay. Um, I think we saw some very deep, very broad um, approaches to regional regeneration. Uh, and also very interesting um, biographies here with uh, both Kyoko and, and Junko-san as well, coming from very different backgrounds. And this is really one of the patterns that I'm, I'm actually seeing, that many of these in, in innovators have very um, wide backgrounds. And um, also, as we saw in, in both of their presentations, um, very comprehensive strategies actually trying out many different things on many different levels actually um, um, very unique um, i feel um, so my my first very simple question is maybe to both of them what is your um, personal motivation actually to engage in, in re regional revitalization um, is there a, a deeper connection to that? Um, we heard Kyoko, um, her mother is um, from, from uh, Misato, um, but why didn't she go there earlier? Why, why now? Um, so what, what brought you into the field of regional revitalization? Um, what is your motivation? Uh, if you could both elaborate on that. <clears throat> So uh, let me start. Why, why now? Um, in Japan, at the moment, um, you, we could talk about, say, education. I I was running a studio in London, and I had quite a few students from Japan, and uh, I met them in you know, over the years, and. I'm, I'm in Japan now, and, and um, I thought, well, what is it that I can do? So, um, so this I call it Manabia, a place of learning. Um, how we look at things is important, and also how how we should choose a job. Um, and also, um, we, I wanted to discuss with the younger generation how to live their lives in in Japan. People tend to think, uh, all right, good. I want to do this job, I need to have this background, or I have to live in a certain way. So the education does that kind of uh, encourage people to live in a certain way, to run on the same track. So I thought there has to be a breakthrough, So and uh, that's why I chose this, where my mother came from. Um, I, um, the, the, the reason that I'm doing this is that I wanted to revive this gallery on this island and I wanted to manage this um, architectural project. And also another big motivation for me was uh, when I was working in China, the Chinese, the people in the Chinese government couldn't manage big, large-scale architectural projects. And they asked me how we manage that in Japan. So I was organizing talk between the Japanese, especially in Japan and also in China. And most experts said, so what, how urban cities are run, and there was no experts who can actually talk about that. So people were told by the government to manage this particular project or research on these particular issues. Um, they were doing what they were told by their bosses. So and they weren't ignorant about how cities are managed or, or, or function. So um, I was thinking about that and came back to Japan. I got this uh, job as a town manager. Um, so I had to gather a lot of information in the local area and also have to communicate with the stakeholder living locally. And I was quite deep into it. So it was more like uh, my um, intellectual curiosity one over me, and uh, I think that's my motivation. So the reason that I, I have been continuing carrying on with this is that uh, I want to share the knowledge that I learned, acquired over the years. So I think my current motivation is that I want to share my knowledge with more people. Very good, beautiful. 
So yeah, we see this kind of um, public mindedness. We see this idea of um, being of service to the community. Actually, I think this is something uh, we see often in Japan. And uh, in what what Junko was also saying, uh, we see that um, official planning, official planning tools, aren't really leading to profound, um, profoundly tackling um, tackling the root problems of, of of the underlying issues here. So we need to come up with new templates with new um, fresh ideas. And um, that's um, why um, rural regeneration in Japan can be such an interesting um, field of experimentation. Um, should we go to the audience now or um, can I uh, uh, pose another question? You um, I think you can do one more. Okay, very good. <laughs> if you like. So, um, one of four, what do I choose? Um, <laughs> difficult. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think let's go with the first one. So um, I think it's very important uh, when you go and act in a community, um, when you go to a specific place, um, there are people who want to bring and think about change. And there are many people who are very averse of change, who are scared, who uh, want to keep things the way they are. So um, how do you act as a change maker in, in your community, Kyoko and, and Junko? How do you create a kind of creative ecosystem, a kind of enabling, motivating um, atmosphere for change making? How do you activate um, your surroundings there? Yeah, I think Okay, let me start. So um, they call me a uh, witch, um, witch from uh, somewhere else. So um, she can make things fun or they sometimes think that I do something completely unpredictable. And uh, yeah, I, I, I hopefully they think it's fun. And, and you know, say I deal with food or uh, jobs way that people think. Um, they actually ask me, say, for example, why I, are we doing these difficult things? But on, on, on the other hand, um, there are lots of things I could learn from the elderly people living locally, um, knowledge from uh, from the past. So this weird witch came from abroad and uh, she's expanding with this uh, knowledge from grandparents' generation. So um, yeah, that's, that's my attitude. And I'm quite similar to you. Um, so in order to create changes in such a short time, and uh, so I was responding to the request. So um, in, in the local area, people, everybody was talking about me. So Kun, Kunihiro, apparently they were talking like uh, Kunihiro is a man in his 50s, the scary man who can do great jobs. Um, so when, when I turned up, you know, when I went to the town, um, you know, there are people that I had met before, but there are people who only knew about the rumor and they were like, oh, this is a she. Um, but anyway, but basically in Kure, um, like, is, is a bigger town compared to all men, other cities that I worked in. And my, my dad's hometown is a, is a rural village town um, with a population of 33,000 people. So I know the, how people communicate in the, the, in the countryside. So, um, so in, in Ome, so it's a, in a, in a, when, I, when I want to speak up in a meeting or and I, I do share information, but I know it is important to actually talk to individuals or maybe we might share a sake glasses, bottles together, so um, so that people think that, oh, she's a bit weird, but we can trust her. So it, it was kind of like a grassroots thing that I was doing. 
So um, I, th- I think um, uh, local, actually local people commented that I built up great trust with them in such a short time and that they were really impressed with my, uh, my job. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Um, so yeah, uh, um, uh, yeah, I would really like to get some questions from the audience. Um, I would also like to hear a little bit about you, Christian, but let's hear if, if anyone would like to ask um, questions, um, or I can go first. Um, so yeah, Christian, just tell us a little bit about how you ended up in Japan <laughs> and, and got interested in the sort of <laughs> uh, the situation. Uh, well, you yourself said you came from rural rural village in Germany. Maybe there's something to do with it. Um, but yeah, maybe tell us a little bit because uh, you haven't had a chance to do so. Okay, very good. Um, thank you very much. Um, yeah, um, I, I was interested uh, in urban Japan. So I'm, I studied town planning in Germany and then I came to Tokyo because I was fascinated with Tokyo. And I was really obsessed with uh, Tokyo, uh, maybe an urban nerd, an urban otaku. And uh, over time, the, uh, I'm going back to Germany, uh, visiting my hometown every year, staying there for a month in summer. Uh, I just um, saw how these villages um, in my home region were also dying, how um, I, I've been away from home, um, including the time at university in Germany for over 30 years. So um, everything has changed back home, the clubs, the associations, the shops, local businesses, local culture, local festivals, all of that has, has mostly died and, and is, is, is nearly gone. Um, so um, I had this personal interest. Um, I really started to care um, about my home and um, that um, opened my eyes um, to look beyond Tokyo and actually to, to go to the region. Um, second thing also, <clears throat> I was um, fairly active in 2000, between 2011 and um, 2016, 17. Um, so I've been working a lot in the disaster areas. Um, so I've been talking to people there. I had been experiencing life um, in these um, depopulating rural areas in Japan. Uh, so those are my two entry points um, that brought, brought me to, to um, uh, rural Japan. Um, so in reconstruction, um, yes, you can rebuild destroyed cities, but um, you can only rebuild them well when you think about the, 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 tra- the dem- demographics and um, the future development, when you think about future economic opportunities as well. How can we bring back young people there? How can we get people interested to move back to those uh, disaster devastated areas? And urban planning and uh, architecture alone cannot do that. We need to think about how to activate communities more deeply and more profoundly. And that's where my interest is coming from for uh, rural regeneration in Japan. And I try to learn um, for uh, my home home country, Germany, as well. Um, I I suppose um, we are beginning to experience similar problems here in the West as well. but um, yeah, if um, you have any questions, they're gonna disappear <laughs> in the effort soon. So if you have any burning questions for any of these wonderful speakers, um, let me know. Um, I think we're gonna have to wrap up soon, so maybe we can take... Ah, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the lectures. Uh, I will have a question to uh, Ms. Kunihira. Uh, Japanese uh, population is in decline. And in order uh, for the country to revitalize regions, there's no way uh, to stop uh, the population decline. There are areas uh, facing this difficulty. Uh, community uh, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure economy uh, is uh, shrinking. That, that, but that could uh, lead to 
uh, mm. alleviate uh, burdens on the residents. Uh, shrinking econ econ economy. Uh, have you have any experience in involving in uh, project in relation to shrinking economy? Uh, I, yes, I can answer that question. Uh, Macron economy perspective view. Um, that's a legitimate uh, uh, question. Um, uh, this kind of uh, observation has been around uh, from uh, olden days. Um, no investment is no, not an option for us. Even if we see uh, drinking the population, uh, may, we, maybe we can have a uh, look by saying um, not not doing maybe not doing ten investments, but we can do two investments. We cannot support all possible projects, so there are vet, there's a vetting process. Uh, but the public, uh, the local government, uh, has a position of not not being able to do that. Uh, so, but we are the sort of people that we do that vetting. So we are criticized. But there must be a theory uh, um, to, in terms of selecting uh, this is the project which choose. But uh, ultimately, what is important is to uh, support people uh, who are helping themselves. And that it's not necessary that funding comes from the local government. Uh, people who are starting up uh, bit new businesses and uh, uh, making investments, um, they may not have the luxury to do uh, uh, big projects. But, uh, for example, if they want to uh, may, uh, start a new film house, they do not necessarily need big money. Uh, every in investment uh, does not have to lead to uh, Thank you. Um, uh, the uh, investment for you expansion. Um, about letting uh, local people decide what they want to build and you know, using their own money. This is vital, working with local people. We don't impose um, our point of view what you should be doing or what they should be doing. I think that's a really important point you made. Uh, I think we need to wrap up and have a break. So um, thank you all. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very um, much. I'm conscious of time in Japan.